Peace be with you. Welcome to Collective Worship. To show us that we're starting a time of reflection together, I'm going to light our virtual candle. Now, if you're ready, I've got a quiz for you. A quiz about opposites. Now, the idea is I'm going to put some words up on screen and you're going to think of something that describes the opposites to them. But let's make it a bit harder. Not just any old word, the most unusual word you can find. And how about you can either work in teams or on your own and the team or person that has a word that no one else in the class has thought of gets a point. You ready? So the first one is, what's the most unusual word you can think of for the opposite of fighting? And how about an unusual word to describe the opposite of arguing? Shouting, what's the opposite of that? And how about noise? I'm sure you're not noisy in the classroom. So how about a really good word to describe what you are being in the classroom? And how about an opposite of storm? And another word, anxious. What might describe the opposite of anxious? And the last one, what would be the opposite of busy? You might want to pause the video for a second and have a really good think about some good descriptive words for the opposite of these things. So if you've got some good ideas, here's the ideas I came up with. Maybe you've got some better words than these. I came up with agreement and harmony and quiet and tranquil and calm, serene and still. So you could use all these words to describe the opposite of those first set of words, but these words all connect with one other word, maybe you use this one as one of your descriptive words, or maybe you've worked it out, peace. All of these words could be used to describe peace. So I wonder, more questions for you, I'm making you think hard today, aren't I? How can we transform fighting into agreement or arguing into harmony, shouting into being tranquil, transforming noise into quiet, storm into calm, anxious into being serene and busy into being still. Now I wonder if any of you got any of my words, how many points did I win in that game? Or did someone guess each one of my words that I put down? I'm going to tell you a story that uses some of those words. And it's a story from the Bible about when Jesus calmed a storm. And if you want to read it for yourself, you can find it in the book written by Mark. Now, Mark listened to all the stories that Peter, Jesus' best friend, told him. And Mark wrote down all of Peter's stories about Jesus' life. So it's the book written by Mark, chapter 4, and it's verses 35 to 41. It had been a long and hot and tiring day. All day, Jesus had been talking to the crowds, te 
telling them about the God's kingdom, telling them stories and parables and teaching them. He needed some time to rest, to pray and to think. So Jesus asked his disciples if they could row across the lake to get away from the crowds and have some time of calm. But on the Sea of Galilee, which was really a lake, but it was so big that people called it a sea. On the Sea of Galilee, a sudden storm came up. The waves were washing all over the boat. The wind was howling around them and the boat was rocking and the water was coming in. Now, Peter and Andrew and James and John, the friends of Jesus, had been fishermen before and now they needed all of their skills to stop the boat going over because the sea was so rough and wild in the storm. And they knew how dangerous the Sea of Galilee could be and they were getting very, very worried. But there was Jesus asleep in the boat his head on a cushion, fast asleep. The disciples knew that he was the only one that could help them in this fierce storm with the wild wind roaring around them, making a noise. And they woke him up. Teacher, teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus woke up and stood up and looked at the wind and the waves. He looked at the storm and heard the noise of it blowing all around them and said, quiet, be still. And the wind stopped. The waves subsided and the water was still. And the disciples, Jesus' friends, looked at each other in wonder. And they looked at Jesus and they said, Who is he? Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. So in that story, Jesus brought peace and calm and stillness to the storm, to the water. But he also brought peace and calm and stillness to the disciples. They found peace in Jesus. So I wonder, where do you find peace? Christians, just like the disciples in the story, find peace in prayer. Prayer is just having a chat with God and Jesus. You don't need special words or to sound clever or posh. You just need the words that come to you, come into your head and come into your heart. And you can speak those to Jesus. So if you're upset or anxious or cross with someone because you've had an argument or even worse, had a fight with them, you can take all of that to God and Jesus in prayer and find peace. A lot of people find that talking things over in a, in a prayer with God or talking with friends or their mom and dad or perhaps a teacher at school, a lot of people find that talking helps them to feel more relaxed, helps them to stop worrying about things, stop being anxious and they can find peace that way. 
And if we've been in an argument and we're feeling all cross and worked up and angry and hot and bothered inside, then sometimes what we need to do is listen. To not say anything else, but to listen. And Christians believe that prayer is talking to God, having a chat with God, but it's also listening to God, to being still and just hearing what God says to you. But we also need to listen to other people, to listen to what they're saying, to find out what's worrying them and to listen to advice from teachers and mums and dads and that will help us find peace. And other people have a special place they like to go that they find it relaxing and peaceful. Maybe it's a corner of your bedroom that you've made cosy with a bean bag or some cushions. Maybe it's a bit of your garden under a tree. Or maybe you feel peaceful going for a walk in the countryside with your family. And some people find it's peaceful to go and sit in a quiet corner at school or go and sit in a church and perhaps listen to the people singing and find peace in a special place. But being at peace with yourself sometimes means stopping being busy, stopping rushing around and just being still. And one way to help yourself be still, help yourself to listen to others, is to control your breathing. And one way to do this is to put your hand up in front of you and do as if you're going to give someone a high five, high five, and just breathe round your fingers. Breathe in. And out, in and out, around each finger of your hand and just get slower and slower and watch your finger tracing around your hand until your breathing has calmed down, until you stop to feel an anxious until you can listen and you can say what you need to say calmly and quietly. Another way of being at peace. So peace isn't just for after an argument or after you've had a fight. Peace is something that you have inside you too. And you can practice being at peace using whatever method helps you to find peace inside you. I'm going to read some words as a, a meditation, I suppose. And they're words of a hymn in the Methodist hymn book. So you could perhaps sing them, but I'm not very good at singing. So I'm just going to read them as a meditation. But I've sent Mr. Stainsby a link to find out what the tune is, if you would like to learn how to sing them. So let's take a moment together. It could be a prayer. It could be a reflection or some words of meditation. Calm me, Lord, as you calmed the storm. Still me, Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. 
calm me, Lord, as you calmed the storm. Still me, Lord, keep me from harm. Let all the tumult within me cease. Enfold me, Lord, in your peace. So thank you for listening. And remember, if you're not feeling very peaceful, do something about it. Talk to a grown up you trust. Take time to be quiet and think about your breathing. Take a moment to chat to God or listen to what God's saying to you. Have a peaceful week. Peace be with you. Goodbye.